determine the slope of the graph of this implicitly defined function that looks really weird, 3 times x squared plus y squared squared is equal to 100xy at the point 3, 1. So a couple of keys. Slope of the graph always makes you think derivative. Okay? Slope of the graph should always make you think derivative, uh, first of all. F prime, Y prime, whatever you want to call it. Um, unless, sometimes they do give you, uh, we had a pre-response question a couple weeks ago that said uh, the slope of the graph is given by this function. They already gave you the derivative, but this one doesn't. Okay, um, at the point 3, 1. Okay, so implicit differentiation because X's and Y's cannot be separated. So let's do this. Uh, 3 is a constant multiple, so we bring it down. The derivative of x squared plus y squared squared, okay, first of all, we've got to use the power rule, bring down the 2 and subtract 1 from the exponent, so that's 1, times the derivative of what was on the inside. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of y squared is 2y, y prime. That's the left side. So right side is a product rule. There are a couple of ways that you can look at this. Uh, first of all, that constant multiple of 100, I would just put that in the front. And then I would look at the product of x times y. So first times the derivative of the second plus derivative of the first times the second. Now, since this question just asks for the slope of the graph, honestly, I wouldn't go through the process of solving for y prime because it's way more work than we need to do. At this point, I would just plug in my point, okay? The x is 3 and the y is 1. I'm going to plug that in for all the x's and y's. Obviously, y prime is what we're looking for, so I don't have anything to plug in for those. So I'm going to plug them in and then just see what happens and deal with the simplifying after that point. So I'm going through and I'm plugging in 3 for all my x's and 1 for all my y's. y prime stays because that's the slope of the graph. So 3 is x, 1 is y, and I'm going to simplify from here. Okay. Um, let's see here. 3 squared is 9 plus 1 squared, so that's 10, so that's 60 right here. And in parentheses, we have 6 plus 2y prime is equal to 103y prime plus 1. Now I'm going to try and get my y primes by themselves. So that means I've got to distribute. So what's that? 360 plus 100. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Make life a little bit easier on ourselves. Whoa. Okay. Um, we can reduce that 60 over 100. First of all, we can kind of cancel one of the zeros dividing by 10. And then uh, 6 and 10 have 2 in common. So divide both of those by 2. So it gives you 3 and 5. So just distribute the 3. That makes life a lot easier. 18 plus 6y prime is equal to 15y prime plus 5. And we're just solving for y prime. Minus 6y prime. Minus 5. We've got 13 is equal to 9y prime. 15 minus 6. Yep. And then divide by 9. So the slope of the graph at the point 3, 1 is 13 over 9. Now, if we were at a different point, that would be a different value. And technically, let's see here, where I started writing, uh, well, the first green line, after the, the blue, where we took the derivative, you could have solved for y prime. Um, but really, since we're just looking for the slope of the, of the curve at that point,
point, these are just plugging those values as opposed to isolating the Y prime and then plugging in. Okay? It's much easier to just plug in and then solve. Okay? Let's do one more like this. And we will be done for the day. Okay, our new function is x squared plus 4y squared is equal to 4. We want to find the slope of the tangent line to the graph. At the point, the square root of 2, comma, the negative 1 over the square root of 2. Now, those look like nasty numbers because they're square roots, but look at our function. It has squares in it, so, you know. Hopefully something's going to work out here, and it's really not that bad. So the derivative of x squared plus y, 4y squared equals 4. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of 4y squared is 8y, y prime. The derivative of 4 is 0. So much smaller derivative here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my point and then solve for y prime. A lot of times that can be easier. Uh, so plug in the square root of 2 for x, plug in negative 1 over the square root of 2 for y, and then we're going to solve for y prime. First thing we can do is we can divide the entire thing by 2. I'm going to make life easier. The square root of 2 plus 4 times negative 1 over the square root of 2. Y prime is equal to 0. Subtract the square root of 2 from both sides. All I did was multiply the 4 by the negative 1 over the square root of 2, so that's negative 4 over the square root of 2. And since that's a fraction, I'm not going to look at it as a division. Remember, we're trying to get in the habit of looking at that as multiplying by the reciprocal. Multiply both sides by the negative square root of 2 over 4, so it cancels. On the left side, y prime is equal to... A negative times a negative is a positive. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2, but for the sake of reminding you, I'm going to write it as the square root of 4, which we know is 2. And then 2 over 4 is 1 half. So the slope of the tangent line to this graph is 1 half.